Hello people of Earth and welcome to the test video for Quiffcraft PvP. In today's episode we are playing the Walls map where three teams of two compete against each other with 15 minutes preparation time. On our first team we have Keith Sanderson and Robert Smith, uh, Togafin and Red Wazer. Um, on the second team we have Sam Woodhall, where is he? There he is, punching some trees, a uh, squid doctor. Uh, accompanied by uh, his friend Charlie Leach, um, who is Chaz Yanis. There he is, punching trees also. And it looks like Sam's already found the first chess with some loot for him to uh, survive. Um, on the third team, third and final team, we have Charlotte Smart, Lottie Zilla. And also Luke Newman, Bow Tie Dude 987. So, and it looks like they're doing the punching tree uh, technique as well. And already started crafting. Now, back on to Keith's team. Uh, it looks like Keith's having a lot of trouble with punching some leaves. Um, and also, it looks like Robert's having the same problem. Um, now, I felt sorry for Keith in this, in this uh, game because. Uh, Keith had quite a lot of problems um, when it came to... Oh look, there's Henry! Oh hello! Look, he's going to visit Charlie! Hello, you little little boy! But as I was saying, um, Keith had quite a lot of problems because um, he, was, he, was, he was punished, basically. Uh, oh look, it looks like uh, Charlotte's team has already started mining. That's a good, that's a good sign. And already started furnacing and got the, enchant the, the, the enchantment table out. That's good, that's good. Um, but yeah, I felt sorry for Keith because um, because of because of messing about in the um, in the cage up uh, in the spawn area. Um, uh, basically, he, I put him on adventure mode just to show him up, and I forgot to put it back on. So he's he's got quite a lot of problem. And also, speaking of problems, uh, Sam has also had some loads of problems with his internet. Uh, so it means that Charlie's sort of being a lone um, lone fighter at the moment. Um, building some uh, tools and mining for himself. Um, and also to make things worse... And to make it worse for Keith, uh, Robert has also um, lost... Look, look, there he is, that, speaking of the devil. Uh, Robert also had some problems getting connected to the server as well. Uh, so here we have Charlie sort of crafting away, uh, making some um, tools for himself. And it also looks like we got our first trap in the game. Charlotte's setting up a uh, what seems to be an explosive trap um, for people who dare to enter their cave. Keith just staring at a tree, as he does, you know, basically. Um, this, I think, this is the point. This is the point where he realised, "Am I on adventure mode?" And then I was like, "Oh, damn it! I forgot to put him off adventure mode." Uh, so basically, Keith has had that. Unfair advantage of starting a bit late, and there he goes. He can he can chop leaves now. There we go. Um, so I, f I felt really bad at this point, so I gave him some like sort of portions and um, a wooden saw just to get him going, really. Because um, you know I felt really bad, and it gets worse basically for Keith. Not the spoilers or anything, but he does get worse. Um, and there's Charlie chopping some wood again. Choppy, 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 choppy. Um, and there, here we go, 40 seconds left um, until the walls fall and everyone is exposed to each other. And look, it looks like Charlotte's team is fighting for the next, like the a final dash for supplies before they go into the cave. And um, oh, there we go, the walls have fallen. And it looks like no one is on the surface, as Keith is about to find out now. Um, one big problem with this game is the problem that quite a lot of people were on the defensive side. Um, so Keith was basically, there he goes, Keith, as he always does, he runs into action uh, with his wooden sword and his potions and uh, hunts for people. Um, but as he is soon to find out, he's like, uh, where the hell is everybody? I don't even know where anybody is. Um, he basically, I think the thing he was, he was thinking of, he was thinking, has everyone just left? And I'm just like sort of roaming this server with Robert following me with a camera. But then he, he soon to found out that there was an open cave here. So he uh, ran in and um, randomly t 
took some webs. Don't know why I did that, but there we go. And whilst at it, activate a pressure pad. Oh, there goes there goes Shard's um, trap. Not going to plan because he got trapped in a web. If he did, if he didn't get trapped in that web, maybe maybe that that trap might have worked. Um, so there he is collecting stuff, and whilst he's at it, going down to check the caves. Which are empty, apparently, according to him. Um, so he jumps back up. I'm guessing Shart and um, Luke are being very crouchy at the moment. Um, trying to hide away from Keith. Ah, look at that. Keith destroying the farmland. There we go. <laughs> um, that's one way of... That's one tactic, I suppose. Um, so... There we go, Keith's still looking for people. Who's the next people you're going to find? Well, there is only really one more team left you can actually find, and that's Charlie's team. Um, oh, so I said just Charlie, because Sam has still failed to come back online, bless him, and his internet problems. Um, it looks like Keith's come upon a sort of cavernous area, um, found Charlie's sort of supply cupboard, and started creeping after him uh, in search for his little nameplate there, as you can see. Um, will he find that nameplate? I think he's noticed it, and he's off for the kill, trying to search, trying to search Charlie down, and which he has, and which also poses the problem of the next server issue, uh, which is for some reason uh, the PVP was set to false. So that means in a PVP match they can't actually PVP. They can't fight each other. And the only reason why Keith was dying was because he was running too much and he was hungry. So I had to close the server and and bless him, Keith sort of doesn't see Charlie coming and uh, Charlie does his first kill. And he finds some more iron. Now I think with Charlie, I think in this match, he was, oh look, here's, here's Robert. Um, he's, he's found his way back online and now he's an Avenger. Not a Marvel Avenger, I mean he has to avenge his friend Keith. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if Robert knows Keith's dead, but um, I think he's either avenging Keith or just wanting to survive, really. Um, so there we go, there's Keith making his trap, and now we join Charlotte as well, Charlotte and Luke, uh, mining away still, um, getting supplies for the battle. And Charlie gets himself trapped and lost, really, so he's kind of unprepared in that sense. Um, but as I was saying before, Charlie is, unlike any, anyone else in the team, uh, on the server, he, as you can see, is the only one wearing some armour. Um, he's wearing his iron helmet and iron boot hilt. And looks like, I don't know what the hell Robert was trying to do here, but looks like he's making some sort of pit. Um, and what, what, mm, oh, he's just punching wood, yeah, punching wood. And, if you notice, he's got TNT in his hand, so that might... That might give you a clue of what, what kind of crap he's trying to create. Um, but we'll find out what that is a bit later. Oh, hello, little pig. Oh, you could do your so cute. Going to see Robert, are you? Oh, you could do hello, Robert. How are you? Oh. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, Shout on Luke. Oh, look, Luke's found some iron. That's, that's always a good sign. Um, and oh, and lost a bit of iron in the progress as well. Don't you just hate that when it falls in lava? God dang it! Um, but let's join. Let's join Charlie again. Uh, he's looks like he's smelting some new gear. Um, look, he's got his he's got his iron chest plate, and all he needs now is a pair of iron leggings, and he'll be absolutely. He's covered. He's covered. Charlie is set to kill now. Uh, but I think he's what one thing he is lacking is he still needs his iron sword, so that, I think that's what he's uh, searching for at the moment. Wow, what, Robert, you've outdone yourself with that pit. I'm just saying, just yeah. Um, the only problem is um, the the thing I was I was sort of f finding difficult was being spectator. I found that everyone was just being on the defensive side, so nothing was happening. And above all else, uh, Charlie um, got himself got himself stuck in a two by one hole. So well done, Charlie. Well done. 
So what I decided to do to make things a bit more interesting, um, I paused uh, to put to put things a bit better to make because because Charlie was all equipped with his iron um, armor and stuff. I thought it'd be best to teleport him out and um, start fighting because I wanted something happen. I wanted something to happen, you know, so I could always trust Charlie to uh, start the fight and sort of hunt people down, you know. So there he is with his iron. Oh, he's got his iron sword as well, so he can be attacking, but what is he doing? He's just digging a hole. He's got his iron sword, he's he's just decided to dig a hole. That's that's Charlie for you. And, oh, and looks like Shal has found and hunted Charlie down. Um, so, looks like Ch uh, Shal's going in for the kill now. Uh, and Charlie has stolen that kill. Charlie has found his way to uh, commit suicide under a pile of gravel. Well done, Charlie. You've got all that armor, you've got all that weaponry, and you suffocate in a wall. Very well done. Very well done. Nom 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 nom. Um, very nice, very nice. Um, so, it's Shark's time. Oh, look at Henry! Hello, Henry! That was long lived. Uh, ugh. Okay. Wow. Oh. Okay, uh, so it's it's Charles' turn. It's it's Charles' turn to be the sort of attacker. Uh, there's Charlie in uh, his uh, sort of imprisonment state um, after his gravel suffocation. Um, good one, Charlie. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so Charlotte is the one sort of going for the attack now. And it looks like Charlotte has found her way to Robert's little um, cave. Which it looks like he's actually walled up now. Um, oh, and there is the TNT. And. Explosion! Shark's getting her uh, bow and arrow out, ready to attack uh, Robert, wherever he is. Oh, did he get it? I think she got hit. Oh, and looks like she got hit as well, so I think she's not the only one with the bow and arrow. And here is the fight between the smart and the smith. Who shall win, Smart or Smith? The answer, Smart. And there you go. So that only means because Sam ca can't um, go back to save uh, Charlie's reputation, uh, Charlotte is off to hunt down her teammate Luke um, to to ground her victory. The problem is. Where is Luke? Because in these in these Minecraft games, only one can win. Where is he? Where is Luke? Where is Luke hiding? Oh! Oh no! Uh, that's not a way to go. That's not a good way to go. No! 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 And she's just survived. She just survived that. But where is Luke? I wonder where Luke is actually, because I think uh, Charlotte followed Luke down, but it seems, if unless Luke's crawling about the place, it looks like Luke's hiding very, very well. So all Charlotte has to do is survive long enough to... So that means the winner is Luke Newman, killing a pig. There you go, there's Luke Newman, bowtie dude 987, he has been crowned the winner. And for his prize he gets a good sword, there we go, lovely. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this video people of Earth, uh, I shall see you in the next episode where hopefully I'll get to go and actually playing instead of spectating all the time. Um, and hopefully we'll get lots of different uh, perspectives as well. So, thank you for watching People of Earth. I'll see you next time.